Okay, so today we're setting up for an experiment. Um, I haven't tried this yet. I haven't even um, uh, searched online or anything to see if this would actually work. But we're going to try to boil water using, let's see if I can get you a shot of it, using an oil lamp. And we'll see if this works, and I'm as anxious to find out as you are. All right, today we're going to be using the uh, stainless steel GI cup that you can get at Walmart for around five bucks, and just the lid of a uh, tin can. It's probably off a can of beans or something or chili that I had just screwed on a little piece of hardware off of a drum kit. And we're going with a small volume because I know this flame isn't going to be too hot. And uh, we're just going to see if you could get a small amount of water to boil to purify in case of an emergency. And the, the thought behind this is, is, you know, if you have a uh, bushcraft camp set up or something or uh, you've built a small cabin, an oil lamp is something that you may have there and uh, you know I uh, just wanted to see if you could utilize that to possibly cook with okay so I'm gonna start off by lighting the, uh, the lamp the oil lamp another benefit of doing this today is that and the flame up on it some. Got a little bit of water here in a uh, metal bottle. Just you here just a little bit. Add on some water to the bottle. And that is maybe possibly a quarter or a third of that cup. So I'm going to add a little bit more out of the water I was drinking. Just get it about half full there. It doesn't really look it, but it's sitting at an angle. And I do have my phone with me, so I'm going to use a uh, stopwatch on it. And once I put the once I put the cup over the flame, we're gonna see how long it takes if it's even able to. So we're gonna cover it to help with bring the temp up. We're gonna move it over the the flame and let's start the temp the clock. You see the clock's running, and I'm going to keep this running, and I may show it to you periodically. This is just an idea I was sitting in the house, and I looked around, and there was an oil lamp. I thought, hey, it's a flame, you know, why not? I do have the oil lamp turned up pretty high, so it's going to be pretty sooty. We will check it from time to time here and see how it's doing. I'm using the uh, the cement blocks as kind of a windbreak too, as well as a support. You know, uh, you do want to have a, a bit of a windbreak. You see how the flame's moving around, and there's really almost no breeze at all right now. It's it's very hot and humid, and a breeze would be welcomed. But you definitely don't want wind moving in and moving your heat away from you, your cooking implement. But once we get to a, a maybe a bubbling stage or you know a kind of a pre-boil stage I may uh, give another look at it and when it gets about to boiling we may remove the lid and just kind of watch it have to see how it goes but you do see the flame is hitting the cup so you know this also proof that a cup you know the cups work as a good small cook set too you could even cook a little bit of stew or something in that a little hobo stew or something 
but we'll be right back with more. Okay, so we're approaching five minutes. We're at four and a half now. And I figure at five minutes I may just open it up here and uh, and let you guys see if that was a cat running by, by the way. And you may hear some jingling in a couple of my videos and that's the sound of a dog's uh, tag as she's running around here. But uh, as you can see, the, the flame's licking it. And I'm kind of using this under the same principle as the... Uh, um, alcohol stove, you know, you've got a flame that's burning. Here it is, five minutes. Five minutes, you do see bubbles appearing. I'm not sure if you, let me see if I can get you in there a little bit on that. There are bubbles appearing in the bottom already, so this, this may actually work. But I was saying I'm not exactly sure, uh, of the heat difference between the lamp oil and alcohol that it burns at. I haven't even bothered to look that up yet. If I do, I may add it in the uh, description or down under in the comment section. But so far, so good, you know. Same principle, the flame is uh, is under it and the heat's going up the flames actually licking the the cup so uh, we'll be back and see how it's doing okay guys we're at nine minutes and it seems like i hear a little something so uh, i already checked that the uh, the lid was pretty hot i'm gonna see if i can't use a little piece of this leather like I was showing you the other day and use it as kind of a pot holder but yeah we're getting a lot more bubbles starting to bubble up in the in the container and that's it just about nine and a half minutes so I believe this is gonna work I would say within 15 minutes 12 15 minutes you'll probably have a bowl Not sure if you can hear it or not, but I kind of hear it a little bit. We're at 10 minutes from counting. Seems to be steaming pretty good. That's a good sign. Steaming it and if nothing else we could make it into a little miniature steel. <laughs> cup's really blackening up that's a very sooty form of uh, of heat right there from the oil lamps but another thing that this would be good for if this works is you see the flame escaping some that's that's keeping the uh, that's gonna make the time a little higher too is you know the flame moving around uh, but another thing this would be good for would be like a uh, grid down situations, power outages, you know, disaster. If you have access to an, an oil lamp, and, and we could probably even get the oil lamp a little bit closer, but you know, you don't want to get too close either. There's kind of a sweet spot with the flame that uh, will give you the optimal heating, but uh, you know, for like a disaster situation, something like this could. Uh, could possibly save your life being able to purify water. Let's see if we can see this. We're nearing in on the 12 minute mark. So, we're kind of getting ready here to, to check it again. Okay, we're at 12. Let's see here. 12, we're getting a lot of steam. Bubbles are starting to move a little more rapidly. I wouldn't call it a full boil yet. But 
hey it's getting there I mean principle so far this is working another reason I did this video today instead of a uh, like a cook video or something I was you know I've been wanting to get out and build a fire and everything but it is just so hot <laughs> I mean we're in the middle of a heat wave right now guys and and I think tomorrow it's supposed to start cooling down some and we're supposed to have a couple days where believe it or not it's actually going to get back down into like the 70s so that would be great maybe we can uh, do something get into the woods then I mean, he's going around trying to make an appearance it looks like Thirteen and a half minutes. Look at that, guys. We got a boil. Try and get you in there to see that a little better. But probably at about the twelve and a half, thirteen minute mark, we've got a boil. So now, you know, you could just boil this for a, a minute or so, whatever you feel safe with, uh, with sanitizing water. And I'm going to go ahead and stop the clock because we, we know that the, the theory is right now that you could boil water to purify or you could cook on an oil lamp. And, uh, you know, you could probably keep it covered and get that temp up even higher to more of a rapid boil yeah you can hear it there I hope you hear that you know but that's good without having to build a fire maybe you uh, you don't have access to much firewood you know, there's some parts of the country where you know there's not that many trees um, firewoods and can be in short supply you know it just depends on where you at it's not like here in the eastern woodlands where uh, you know it's plentiful you don't even have to cut down a tree you can just walk into the woods a little bit and gather all you need and uh, you know an oil lamp can hold quite a bit of, of fuel yeah, I mean that's that's a rolling bull, guys. So I believe we've proved something here. Handles are still good and cool. There you go. We had a a good boil going. We blackened our our uh, cup pretty good. You could, uh, that means you could fry little pieces of meat down in there or whatever you needed to do. I do plan on doing some more cook videos, like I said, once it cools down and, and I can build a fire comfortably. Uh, nobody wants to sit next to a, a campfire whenever it's already 100 degrees out and you've got what feels like 1200% humidity. But, uh, but we've proved our point. We can uh, we can boil water to purify, which means we would be able to cook right over an oil lamp. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in and checking out this short little spot, this this little experiment we had. And as always, remember to keep your head on a swivel, practice whatever you want to be good at, and question everything.